Okay, so we're going to go through some of the steps involved with applying TheraBand kinesiology tape. So the first step in applying TheraBand kinesiology tape is to prepare the skin where we're going to actually apply the tape. So for this demonstration, we're simply going to put it on the lateral aspect of the forearm. Maybe perhaps he has some kind of pain in there. So the first thing we'll do is obviously wipe down the skin, remove any excess oils or, any, or sweat or anything like that. Make sure it's dry. If you need to, you can use like an alcohol prep or some kind of other uh, way to cleanse the skin. And then obviously if you need to shave it because of hair, you can do that as well. And then you're, you'll be ready to tape. Okay, so we're going to apply our TheraBand kinesiology tape. I've measured out an appropriate length of tape, which will obviously include any extra length that we need when we, when we talk about stretching over the skin. So if I'm gonna apply it over his forearm and I'm gonna stretch it to 25 or 50%, I'm not gonna cut a length that's the entire forearm. I'm actually gonna cut it a little bit shorter than the entire length because I'm going to actually stretch it. Now before you apply this tape, it's important to remember two things. On the backing of the tape, you'll see these grid markers. Those indicate two centimeters of each, uh, each marker. I use the backing generally to tell me where I wanna tear the tape for my anchors. So what I'm gonna do is basically on each end, you need about two to four centimeters on each end for an anchor. That's a basic principle of kinesiology taping is that we wanna have the, the two anchors with no tension applied about two to four centimeters. Generally, that's also about two finger widths. So if I know that that's two finger widths, I'm gonna hold the tape at that point, and then I'm simply gonna create two little tears at that point in the backing. So in the backing, you'll see that I have two little tears, and then what I can easily do is just separate those two pieces. And now, I actually have my anchor part here, which I'm gonna take off uh, the backing and apply it, and the rest of this will be my uh, kinesiology tape that I'll apply with a specific tension. So what I'm gonna do first is take the backing off of one of the anchors, okay? And so I'm gonna take my application here, and I'm simply going to apply one of the bases here. Again, distal proximal, the position, it really is not gonna make that much of a difference, but if you wanna to choose to apply one end at a certain sp uh, spot, that's fine as well. We apply the first anchor, as, as I mentioned, with no tension, and then I gently rub on the tape just to activate the adhesive. Now what I'm gonna do is actually pull the backing off, okay, of the remainder of the tape, but I wanna be careful not to touch the adhesive because if I touch the adhesive, it's not gonna stick as well. So what I'm gonna do is remove that backing till another two to four centimeters, and then I'm gonna grab that end and simply apply the tension that I want. So with the TheraBand kinesiology tape exact stretch indicators, you can see if I wanna apply a 25% tension, I'll apply it until I get an equal hexagon, or if I want to apply it 50%, I'll stretch it until the large hexagon becomes equal sided. For most of my applications, I generally stay between 25 and 50%. So I use that 50% hexagon as kind of my safety indicator. If I get to a point where the large hexagon becomes over equal sided, I've probably gone too far in my application. So what I'm going to do is stretch it so that the small hexagon is equal sided, and then stretch it a little bit more till just before the large sided hexagon is equal sided. And I'm gonna apply that tape down, rub it in a little bit, and then remove the last two to four centimeter backing, again with no tension in that anchor, and then rub it. Now a little trick that you can also do is to use the silver backing of, of the shiny backing of the tape and simply rub that backing on top of the kinesiology tape. That creates some heat, which then is activating our heat activated acrylic glue within the TheraBand kinesiology tape. And the last thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I instruct my patient of all the ways they need to be careful with their tape. For example, uh, you can take showers and, and go swimming and those types of things. Just pat it dry if you need to with a towel. And if it does get irritated, please take it off. If you ever see redness, itching, irritation, that's not normal. It's important to tell your patients that before they leave because they may think that it's supposed to feel like that. But make sure you tell them if you start to have a lot of itching, burning, irritation, or redness, they need to go ahead and take the tape off immediately because they may be allergic to adhesive. 